Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Lash Angela with the weekly videos that come out every Wednesday. Thanks uh, for tuning in. So today I want to talk about the five things that I've learned and have been key lessons in my life in the five areas of relationships, friendships, education, career, death and life. So in relationships, the most important lesson that now governs me when I am courting or talking to a guy is whatever my instincts tell me is whatever I'm going to do. Most of some, some, not sorry, not most, some relationships, um, like there's one a year before my instincts were telling me something's wrong, I need to deal with it and I ignored it and I didn't deal with it and instead the situation became worse than it needed to be and my instincts were telling me like where this is it like our time together is over but I didn't want to listen and um, sometimes my instincts have told me this is got, not going to go anywhere but I keep continuing to pursue it and so in the end I, I always get hurt and so now I've learned to know what how my instincts talk to me um, usually it's like a feeling that I get and, and, and it's very clear, it never fails me, it's very clear about what the message that it wants to deliver. So for me, I would say the same thing for you. Whatever your instincts tell you about the person that you're relating with, believe you me, they are not wrong. They are connected on a spiritual um, subconscious level that, that can't be denied. So listen to your instincts. In friendships, I've had two friendships that I've known for a long time, like I've known for a long period of time. And then when I needed them to be there, they weren't there. And one of them, I, I revived and we became friends for a while. And then the same thing kind of happened where I realized I was the, always the one investing more in the friendship. And the minute I took myself and I wasn't doing the calling, I wasn't trying to chase up and find out, oh, when can we meet up? I realized I was the glue. Like, I was, I was the glue and the paper. And when I stopped, there was no friendship. So I always say, and, and what my lessons have been, is that if a relationship has died, I'm going to let it die. I'm not going to revive it. Because the saying is, some people are supposed to be with you for all seasons, and some people are just supposed to be with you for a certain season. And so now those friendships but just for a certain season so um just let it go and like just keep, the memories that you had will always be there they'll always be good but sometimes it's just it's just goodbye and that's okay like you're different people and you you're in different journeys and you don't try to force something the problem is is when you become a square when you become a square trying to force something in a circle it, it can't work so that's been my key lesson if it's dead I leave it dead. Uh, career. I think, actually, before I go into career, education. For me, I used to think, how can you not go to uni? Like, are you mad? Like, you've got to, you know, develop yourself and go as, as far as possible. Education is not for everyone. It really isn't. It's really, really difficult, especially if you're not academic, if you don't like reading. And that, that comes with whatever subject you take, there's I'm going to be a percentage of it that requires you to be really academic. So believe in that education is not for everyone, but on the same scope that it's still important because knowledge is power. So even if you choose not to go further in education or you pursue a degree or anything, do still try and invest in, in, in consuming knowledge. So if you're going to do things digitally, um, if you're going to buy a book and read it on whatever it is that you're interested in skill-wise. Uh, so I think education will always be important, but the level doesn't matter. But you always have to invest in create and in inputting knowledge in you. Like So if you're into interested in uh, taking pictures and you don't like reading, go and see what other people are doing in terms of how they take pictures learn about your camera, learn about how you can do it. So there's different levels of education. Not all of it has to be academic. Some of it has to be practical, but you need to make time to invest in, in 
in putting knowledge because when you have the knowledge, you increase your power. Career. I think I, 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 did, uh, I did a talk at Technical University in Kenya and they asked me to talk about my journey uh, of career and honestly, if you look at my CV, um, I, I think like if I, if I put my, all the jobs that I've done in my CV right now, I look like I've literally pretty much done everything. And honestly, I used to think I've done so much, like it's confusing to someone who'd want to hire me. Um, but when I think about it, they've all mattered. Every little skill that I've gotten in every job that I've done, they all help me in the person that I am. They've all taught me the, the importance of time management. They've all taught me uh, people skills, uh, people management, uh, working with people as a team, working alone. Uh, they've, I've learned so many skills. So I think what I would say, the key thing that I've learned about being in my career life is being a chameleon is okay because who I was five years ago is not what I want to do now and who I am right now is probably not going to be what I want to do in the next five years so be okay to to change and move with your career and also um, develop and upscale your skill within your career and if you can find something niche about what you do and you find that little gap where there's not a lot of people who are doing that, jump on that. Um, because there'll be a time, that little thing that seems like a minute issue uh, or, or something that people don't care, fast forward a few years later, that will be a big thing. We see this with digital stuff. We see this with technology. We see this with now how we become a, a society of uh, eco-friendly stuff, you know, health. So we are always evolving. So if you find that little niche that you can tap into, tap into that. And then the last one is about death and life. I think the key lesson on the death part is to know that you came from the womb and you'll end in a tomb. So if you accept that death is part of life, like it's the, it's the final chapter in how you're gonna exit this world, then now you can learn to live. And so for me, the key lesson in life is make the most of every opportunity. Seize every moment before you cease to live. And literally, that's like the best summary I can put for both of them. These are my five key lessons in life. I'd be curious to know what have been your key lessons in, in, in all those different uh, topics that I've touched on. And please stay subscribed because I'll be back next week, Wednesday, as usual. Take care. Bye. Bye.